Hey everybody, it's Greg Rice. We're here in the bucket, Pawtucket, Rhode Island. And you're wondering out there, should you buy that house cash, paid in full, no mortgage, or should you get that traditional mortgage? Now again, I always go back to my point. I always say, what's your goal? What's your motivation? For me, at my age, in my position in life, it's cash flow, it's leverage, it's growth. But you may have a different picture in your mind. You may be at a different stage in your life. So take this advice and take these examples with a grain of salt or pepper or parsley or whatever spice you like to think with. So in a nutshell, buying a property cash is usually not the route to go for many reasons. But for purposes of this video, we're going to do a simple example. We're going to talk about a $200,000 single family home. And I usually don't reference single families, but we're going to keep it very simple. Very simple and efficient for this example. So you got the $200,000 house. You got the 200 G's in your bank account. You can come to the closing table, drop a check down for that entire amount and never have to talk to a bank never have to think about interest rates never even have to think about getting insurance did you ever think about that or you go the opposite way you put down 25 percent for this example you get your rate you get your insurance all the yada yada bah, bah, bah. but 885 dollars would be the payment as of today for that two hundred thousand dollar house if you put 25 percent down so you got 885 that's your principal and interest payment every month. Now, if you put the 200 G's down in no payment, how long would it take for that 885 to intersect with the 200,000? I'll wait. The truth is, I really don't know, so I'm hoping Angel just puts it up on the screen here. But shorthand math, Twenty-five, thirty years. Twenty-five to thirty years is when that two hundred k and the amount of payments you've made over those years will finally meet. So the point of that and the importance of that for this video is you lost all the utility on that two hundred thousand dollars once you coughed it all up and gave it away instead of. Paying the 886, keeping the other 150k for yourself, and buying something else. Buying something else. Back in the day, 50 G's would be a good down payment to buy something. Now it's more like 75, 100 grand, depending on what you're looking at. But the bottom line is, you could get multiple properties with that same money. That you're not just giving it all away to one person and saying, "Oh, I don't have a mortgage payment." You still got taxes, you still got water, you still got sewer. You have things that are recurring anyway. You probably have insurance. So it's not like you're eliminating your housing expense. You're just modifying it. But if your goal is to continue down this path of real estate investment, you'll always want to spread that out. Spread out the money as many places as possible. Iron's in the fire, right? And each one is paying you back if you're renting them out paying off those mortgage payments with somebody else's money. So that's the general premise, nothing earth shattering, but consider, consider that 200K, what's your goal? Do you want it free and clear? No payments, just own it, you're out, you're not looking to grow, then do that. But most of us should be leveraging and putting down that money in as many spots as possible. And that's how I've been able to grow it. And that's how I see all of our clients growing. They're cash out refining now. They're taking cash equity and using that as down payments too. So the fun never stops on the rental parties, right? It's, it's a constant party of fun. I'm really kidding. It's not always fun. It's actually very difficult. And then you have one good fun day, usually closing day. The day you buy it, the day you sell it, it's kind of like a boat. You're like all gung-ho. But every day in between, you're like, why the heck did I do this? Until you start to see 
those returns coming in, do a nice cash out refi, you see the fruits of your labor. So take this with a grain of salt, pepper, garlic powder, whatever, and any feedback, put them in the comment section below. Once again, Greg Greg's here in the bucket, your property managed.